My name is Joe Wiktorowicz and welcome to Allied TV. Today we're going to talk to you about the differences between interstate and intrastate moves and the various regulations and pricing that go along with each. Where you move and how far you move are all factors that affect not only your moving costs, but also who handles your move and how your move is governed. It's important that you recognize these factors before your big day to save yourself surprises on the bill or other hassles. So before we dive into the differences, let's clearly define what constitutes an interstate move and what constitutes an intrastate move. By definition, an interstate move is one that occurs within the borders of one state. So let's say you decide to move from Orlando, Florida to Miami, Florida. Well, because you are still moving within the same state, this move would be considered intrastate. Now, on the other hand, say you decide to move from Chicago, Illinois to San Diego, California. Since this requires you to move between two different states instead of within one, this would be considered an interstate move. By definition, an interstate move is just this, a move between two states. So now that you understand the definitions of both types of move, let's take a look at the cost and regulation differences between the two. First up, intrastate moves. Intrastate moves and moving companies are state regulated and the moves are usually priced according to an hourly rate that has been filed with the state regulatory body or by the weight and miles. The overall cost of an intrastate move is also determined by the manpower and time it will take to move your items from your old home into your new one. Keep in mind that the larger your current home and the more rooms you have, the larger your moving crew will need to be. An intrastate move is typically handled solely by your moving company. Next, let's talk about interstate moves. Unlike intrastate moves, which are state regulated, interstate moves and moving companies are federally regulated operating using tariffs. These tariffs provide the terms and conditions of your contract with the moving company and a schedule of rates and charges that the movers use to determine your final moving cost. When it comes to pricing, interstate moves are priced according to tariffs, total weight of all the items being moved, and the distance it will take to get you from your current residence to your new home. An interstate move is handled by the National Moving Company. Now that you know the differences in pricing and regulations between interstate and intrastate moves, let's briefly go over some of the legal stuff you should know before moving day. If moving interstate, make sure your mover has a US DOT number, is registered with the FMCSA, and has the proper level of insurance. If they do not, they are breaking the law. A US DOT number is required by all companies that move cargo through interstate commerce and serves as a unique identifier when collecting and analyzing a company's safety information. This information can be collected through audits, compliance reviews, inspections, and crash investigations. The FMCSA stands for the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration and works to prevent commercial motor vehicle related injuries and fatalities. To ensure your items are in the care of well-trained, safe drivers, FMCSA requires all moving companies to register with them. So whether you're moving within one state or from state to state, now you'll know what to expect in terms of identifying your mover, how moving costs are determined, regulations, and legalities. Remember, always check with your moving company to ensure they have the proper registrations to be moving your items. If they don't, find another company. Thanks for watching Allied TV. I'm Joe Wiktorowicz wishing you a safe and easy move.